go ahead and uh, talk to you. Yeah, so this workout was kind of inspired by one of my friends back in Pennsylvania, and uh, she had contacted me about um, asking how to get rid of her back fat uh, when she wears her bras and stuff. She doesn't like that she sees a bunch of uh, fat hanging off. And so the answer, like, why do people gain weight in different places? Well, really, um, uh, if you're gaining, if you're fat in one place, it's really a result of you being fat all over the place. Um, you're fat, you know, uh, it's, in reality, it's, it's, it's an excess in overall body fat. It's not just fat in one particular spot. So the answer to get rid of it is to, you know, burn fat all over the place, <laughs> like doing an exercise like today. Um, when you're doing those strengthening and toning exercises, uh, toning exercises are good to help boost up your metabolism and um, give your muscles some tone to them, but you won't be able to see the definition in the muscles until you burn off the fat. Um, and yes, some, some ge uh, genetics do play a factor. Um, if you notice, you know, maybe your mom gains weight in her hips and so do you, or some people, you know, gain more in their face or in their, in their back. Um, and that is a hereditary thing. Uh, but other things that contribute to your body being overweight is your behavior and your environment and your lifestyle. Um, if you're sedentary in your job, you are you know, less, you're more prone to be overweight. The more active that you are, the, the better off that you are. And you also have to watch what you eat. Because um, being overweight, having excess body fat, it's due to um, the calorie imbalance. Calories in versus calories out. That's the equation. And you have to balance. If you want to lose weight, you have to have a calorie deficit. So you have to be burning more calories every day than you're consuming. If you're going to maintain weight, you eat as many calories and you burn them off. If you're trying to gain weight, obviously you want to put on some more calories into your diet. Um, and there is a difference between men and women on where we gain weight and how we gain weight. Men tend to have more visceral fat, which is around their stomachs, and uh, which is actually a little bit more dangerous, men, because uh, it's around your vital organs. So be careful with your fat dudes. You know, get it, get it off there. Uh, it's more, it's more dangerous for you. Um, and women, we tend to gain weight more around our. Uh, it's called subcutaneous fat, and that is around our hips and thighs, and especially during childbearing times, that's where we that's where we gain weight because our bodies are they're preparing themselves to to have babies, and we need that extra fat because the babies need fat, and that's why we get so hungry, or you get so hungry. I've never been pregnant yet, but I imagine I hear that you get pretty hungry when uh, when you have when you're feeding an extra life. So, um, yeah, we tend to pack it on around there, and then after menopause, our weight gain starts to shift. Our, uh, then we start to gain more weight around the stomach areas, too, ladies. Um, we definitely change as we get older. So, uh, let's see. Yeah, so your environment, your behavior, you know, if you were fed sugary foods when you were young, um, that has an effect on your on your on your body. Uh, the more natural stuff, the better. So, you know, especially moms, if you're new moms right now, lay off the Lucky Charms, okay? Put them away. Get them out of your cabinet. Go get some nice uh, organic, healthy kind of baby food. Uh, not baby food, or I mean, if your kids. If they're kids and you need and they're eating cereal, go get them some. Go get them something nice with whole grains. Um, they can't tell the difference. My sister is raising her daughter Emma on all these natural foods, and she loves it. And she's just a smart little whippersnapper. If you've been following me, then you probably know who she is. Little Emma the blonde. She's so cute. She's like my favorite. My favorite little thing. Um, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. She feeds my sister. Feeds her all organic stuff. She doesn't. And she's not missing out on the Lucky Charms. She has got no idea. You know, the the kids don't. You know, the kids don't grow up and all of a sudden be like, I want Lucky Charms. You know, it's mom. You give the kids the Lucky Charms. You don't have to. You you can start them off on a on a well uh, well laid 
plan for their life of health and fitness. You can you can treat them right, get them get them right. Um, so yeah, the behavior and the environment, like I said, the things that that you're around um, being fed. I mean, not every neighborhood has organic whole foods markets, but um, I mean, even if it doesn't, if, even if it's not labeled organic, it grows from the ground. Okay, like a fruit and a vegetable, it grows from the ground. It's good for you. Um, the closer that you get to natural, the better. The more processed things that you eat, the more toxins and waste get stuck in your body. They're harder to process. So the more natural calories that you have, the easier it is for your body to burn them off. So to get rid of your excess body weight and your excess fat, um, reducing your overall body fat, it's always the same things that, I'm gonna, that I keep on telling you over and over and over again, and you're probably going to probably gonna get sick of me saying it, but do some cardio. Go out there, get some exercise, um, cardio, toning exercises, and watching what you eat. Those are the three things that are going to keep you lean, keep you toned and looking um, you know, healthy. You want to be healthy. And, uh, and, and being healthy, you know, your diet, it's not, being healthy is not about being skinny. Being healthy is about being healthy. There are a lot of skinny people out there who don't